The edge of the solar system the wanderer reaches the edge. For nearly half a century, a small, unassuming machine has drifted through darkness. A silent traveler, moving through regions no human eye has ever glimpsed. Long after it left the planets behind, it pressed onward into the vast unknown. Long after the warmth of the sun faded into a pale, dying ember, Voyager 2 continued. Steady. Patient. Unshaken. A lonely lantern pushing into an endless cosmic night. It launched in 1977. An era of cassette tapes, flickering disco lights, and analog dials. A time when computers filled entire rooms, yet held less memory than a modern wristwatch. In that world, Voyager 2 was born. Humble. Fragile. Profoundly ambitious. It was never meant to endure this long. Its expected lifespan was barely five years. Five years to skim past the giant planets. Five years to send home a handful of precious measurements. Five years before its power faded and its voice fell silent. But fate had other plans. Nearly half a century later, Voyager 2 is still out there. Still awake. Still whispering across unimaginable distances. But the whispers have changed. The tone has changed. The message has changed. No longer just numbers. No longer just cold data. There was a pattern. A rhythm. Something deeper. Something that felt less like information and more like intention. Voyager did not simply leave the solar system. It crossed a boundary. Scientists once imagined that boundary as soft, a gentle fading of the solar wind into interstellar space. Voyager shattered that idea. It recorded a jolt. A sudden spike in particle density. Magnetic fields twisting in strange, unexpected directions. Radiation levels jumping by nearly 70%. This was not a transition. It was a border. A razor-sharp frontier. A cosmic doorway. It was as if our solar system was wrapped in a living shell. A shell that expanded when the sun grew active. And contracted when the sun fell quiet. Voyager 2, approaching from a tilted, unexpected angle, crossed this moving barrier where no one predicted. The edge of our system was not fixed. It was alive. Then came the magnetic shock. Beyond the sun's influence, Voyager detected magnetic fields aligned almost perfectly with those inside the heliosphere. Seamless. Ordered. Structured with unsettling precision. Many scientists dismissed it as coincidence. Others felt uneasy. Was nature truly this flawless? Or was something shaping that perfection? Then, in 2019, silence. Voyager 2 vanished. No signal. No heartbeat. Only the cold hiss of empty space. Hours passed. Then days. Engineers stared at silent consoles. No command could reach the probe in time. All they could do was wait. And then, without warning, Voyager spoke again. No reset command. No human intervention. It simply woke up. The new data was stranger than anything before. Spikes. Rhythms. Electromagnetic pulses repeating with perfect mathematical regularity. Not turbulence. Not cosmic rays. Not solar remnants. Something closer to a biological cadence. A cosmic pulse. Low frequency oscillations every 13.2 hours. Constant. Precise. Unchanging. Weeks passed. Then months. It was as if the space around Voyager was reacting. 
Listening. Responding. When the signal was converted into sound, the room went silent. It did not sound mechanical. It did not sound artificial. It sounded organic. A slow, distant heartbeat echoing through the. Then came the spirals. Bursts of energy followed by absolute silence. Repeating. Cycling. Forming recursive patterns seen throughout nature. In seashells. In hurricanes. In galaxies. Patterns written in mathematics itself. Some whispered the word intelligent. Others refused to say it aloud. Voyager's magnetometer detected something stranger still. The magnetic field did not merely bend. It folded. It curved. Wrapped around the spacecraft like invisible fingers shaping soft fabric. Space itself twisted. Gravity without gravity. A lens with nothing to focus. A structure. A doorway. NASA held closed door meetings. Quiet ones. Nothing in known physics could explain what Voyager was sensing. Then the impossible happened. Subsystems long believed dead flickered back to life. Instruments powered on without command. Decades old data logs returned, resurrected as if from memory. Voyager no longer behaved like a failing machine. It behaved like one being guided. The images were stranger still. Not photographs. Impressions. Ghost like shapes drifting through what should have been empty space. Soft arcs of light. Shadows twisting with deliberate motion. They moved slowly. Intentionally. As if the darkness had texture. As if something beyond the veil brushed gently against reality. Scientists argued endlessly. Were these echoes of ancient starlight? Relics from the distant past? Or had Voyager entered a region where time itself folded? If time is a woven fabric, had Voyager slipped into a seam? The surrounding plasma no longer behaved like noise. What was once dismissed as static responded to Voyager's presence. Like a living medium. Like something aware. Researchers named it the response field. Space was no longer empty. It was reactive. The pulses continued. Steady. Methodical. Almost thoughtful. Voyager had uncovered a hidden structure. A rhythm embedded in the interstellar medium. A pattern woven into the fabric of the void. Plasma densities rose and fell in fractal forms. Magnetic spirals repeated across scales, from microscopic to immense. Particle waves curled into elegant shapes, not chaotic, not random, as if following instructions written into the bones of the universe. The boundary of our solar system no longer behaved like a line. It behaved like a surface. A skin. A membrane. A place that recorded everything that touched it. A mirror that sometimes became a lens. A lens that sometimes became a screen. A place where physics felt like language. And the flickers, the arcs, the rippling curves, they began to resemble something chilling. Memories. Not Voyager's memories. The universes. As if the void remembered everything. Every dying star. Every collapse of matter. Every burst of creation. Stored not in machines, but in the vibrations of spacetime itself. Could the cosmos remember? Could the darkness be watching? Something was out there. Not a planet. Not a star. Not a machine. But an awareness, responding when touched. The pulses were not accidents. The spirals were not artifacts. The flickers were not illusions. 
Voyager had drifted into a realm where rules dissolve, where time stretches, where energy behaves like thought, where consciousness, if it exists on a cosmic scale, might take form. Here, measurement becomes message. Data becomes dialogue. Physics becomes philosophy. Voyager did not discover emptiness. It discovered presence. A presence at the edge of the sun's domain. Not hostile. Not welcoming. Simply curious. It bends magnetic fields like soft fingers exploring a tool. It shapes plasma into spirals, perhaps for us to notice, or simply because that is how it exists. Whatever it is, it is aware of Voyager. And by extension, aware of us. So the most unsettling question remains. Are we observing the universe? Or is the universe observing us? The void is no longer silent. Its rhythm continues. Steady. Deliberate. Like a heartbeat echoing across eternity. And Voyager 2, launched by human hands 47 years ago, may be the first witness to a cosmic memory, or a cosmic mind, older and vaster than anything we can imagine. Voyager's mission is not over. And whatever lies beyond that shifting boundary may redefine everything we believe about space, time, consciousness, and our place in the universe.